Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Yep, the weekend has arrived, so hope to hope you make today memorable with whatever you have in store for the weekend. Make plans, make them memorable, and do whatever you can to make today memorable as ever. Do what you can, as always. Yep, that's all you can. Yep, just do what you can to make the most of it. All right, my friends. Today I'm making another poem video. Last night I did a, I did 110 for some for a focused fellow member. Now here's today's poem video 111, and this one is based on another focus fellow member that I remember very much. I remember going to focus center for autism when I was 16. During the time when I was in reckoning, how do I say this? Was in reckoning severe high in severe high school. Yeah, and no one to hear from out of high school. Let's just put it that way. It's the truth. No one likes high school very much. I remember going to focus, and I remember meeting this caring and loving um, darling who was very, um, who was very, yeah, she was very caring and loving to me as ever, especially when I got into, when I started writing poetry. And she and I have kept in touch with each other very much because I always love seeing her when I go to focus all the time. I love seeing the staff and all. It's very good to see the staff and all. But the most the most important person I love seeing all the time was this darling. And I keep in touch with her all the time, even when I have FaceTime with her, even when I FaceTime with her. Just to see how things are going and she's wanting to stand with me. So I love I love talking to her all the time. Even when I text her in the morning or in the afternoon. And even when we have time for FaceTime, we'll just talk and talk about what was going on in our in our lives as ever. What's going on in our own lives as ever. So yeah. So for today's poem video, this one is based on another focus fellow member. And this poem is based on, as I like to call her, which is based on this poem that I've written about. Yep. This poem is based on focus fellow member, the caring, loving, and yeah, the caring, loving and how I say this? The caring, loving, and very kind Carol Doran. Yep. Carol Doran is a focus film is another focus film member I remember very much. I love seeing her all the time, especially when I came to focus. Good times to focus. The memories are never gone and they have never faded as ever. I always love seeing her, especially when I read my poetry to her, so it was fun always going to see her all the time. And I remember whenever I had the chance, I would try to stop by to see how the focus family is doing, even try to see Carol, see what she's up to. So yeah, good times to focus, especially with Carol as ever. Yep, so today's poem is based on another focus film number known as the poem that I'm about to read to you all. Yep, this one's based on the caring, loving, and very kind, full, very kind, full Karen Doran. Yep, and Carol, if you're watching this, this one is dedicated to you because you meant a lot to me when I first came to focus. So, get ready as I read this poem to all of you, including you, Carol. This poem it's based on the nickname that is based on the name I would call Carol. And I once wrote a poem that was mentioning her as what this is the name of this poem is. Yeah. I believe I did, so yeah. Yeah, right. So allow me to read this to you all. And this poem is based on the name I would love to call Carol. As I would call her. I call this poem The Grandmother of Focus. Because Carol was like a caring and loving and kind for grandmother to all of us, especially to me at Focus when it came to times where I could not stand, I could not stand, well, yeah, I could not stand where I was living, and most likely I couldn't stand where I was, de where I was dealing with in everyday life, so yeah. So get ready as I read this poem to all of you, including you, Carol, if you're watching this. I call this poem, The Grandmother of Focus. I remember coming to focus when I was 16. Life was difficult as you have ever seen. Carol was the first fellow I really met. A friendship between us grew I will never forget. She was very caring with a pure heart as I remember my time of focus from the start. Her 
smile was glorious to tell. The memories, the memory, hold on, yeah, the memory tells everything very well. She was like a grandmother you have never found while listening to Silence of Sound. Carol was like Focus's caring and loving Pope when you are feeling lost without hope. I would hug her any time I saw her arrive. Picture me hugging her with a dime. She was the grandmother of Focus in my mind. Someone you will never leave behind. I would think about her in the Focus nest. Good times are never forgotten, to be honest. Karen Carroll was always in my dream, making a path clear in the river stream. Meet the grandmother of focus. Alright, my friends, I'm going to show you the picture of the woman that I love keeping in touch with all the time, especially when I text her or even FaceTime her as ever. This right here, my friends, is the grandmother of focus, Carol Doran. And yes, it can. Actually, Carol, if you're watching this, this one's dedicated to you very much. You mean a lot to me very much, especially when I first came to Focus. I just love seeing your smile. That's the best part about you. There you have it, my friends. That was the poem based on a focus, focus fellow member Carol Doran, or as I like to call her, the grandmother of Focus, which was the name of the poem I just read. Carol, like I said, I hope you if you're watching this, this poem will dedicate to you because you mean a lot to me very much, especially to everyone at Focus. Especially at everyone at Focus, because you are the caring, loving, and kindful grandmother of Focus. And that was always the best part about you. Especially coming to see you all the time whenever I came for a visit or during my time of focus, at Focus coming to see you as ever. I still remember the time when we had our like, I don't remember what we discussed about what we go through in everyday life. Especially with school, home, but yeah, school, home, even that stuff. And I remember how we discussed it. I remember Olivia Case very much. I wish I had heard from her, but. It's been a long time, and I don't know if I still have her email. I don't think I have. So, if I ever do plan, if I ever do see her somewhere, I hope to run into her, and hope to see how she's doing. So, for now, that's how. Yeah, for now, I'm guessing that's how it is. Yeah, but if I ever do see Olivia Case, I'd love to meet her again someday. See how she's up. See what she's up to. And see how she's doing. So there you have it, my friends. But I also want to say this, Carol. I hope you enjoyed this. This poem was dedicated to you very much. I wanted to write a poem about you because you mean a lot to me as ever. Especially, like I said, when I first came to Focus, and as I always keep in touch with you as ever. Yep, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoyed this very much. Yeah, this was a very wonderful poem to write, and right now, a poem video I am making as ever. Yeah, I have made as ever. This was very wonderful. So, Carol. I hope you enjoyed this. This one was dedicated to you very much. All right, my friends. As of this morning, this wraps about it. This wraps it up about now. I hope you enjoyed this poem video. This was 111. The last one was 110. So today's poem video was 111. Yep. And this one was based on the grandmother of Focus, Carol Doran. Like I said, Carol, if you're watching this. I dedicate this poem, very, this poem to you very much. And as for you, my friends, I say thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this poem video. And please do come back again the next time I make another poem video. I will, be more, I will continue making more of these. This is something that I love doing very much. Especially getting my poems out there as ever. So thank you for your time. And enjoy today. Make Saturday memorable. Make the most of it most likely. And do what you can to spend the entire day having fun as ever. So take care. And I'll see you all later.